Is Snapchat Premium considered cheating? By the title you probably know where this is headed. Basically BF of four and half years spends roughly 300.00 used a month on it. Last year alone is was almost four grand. I make up excuses on why it's not cheating, but deep down I know it is. Basically I'm asking you random stranger is this a deal breaker situation yes he has said he does it kinda blamed me like you're the reason i do it and yes my close friends tell me to end it but they are also biased i basically just need the reassurance that what's in my head is not wrong Holy shit, even if he isn't cheating spending that amount of money on an app is a huge red flag. You are not wrong, listen to your friends, this guy is an asshole. He spends almost 300 a month on nudes and blames you. You need to respect yourself and dump him immediately, this relationship will just become abusive. Yes it's a deal breaker. Trying to lay blame on you is even worse. Leave his ass immediately. Is this a deal breaker situation? Yes. And he is a jerk. Forgive me but is it Snapchat premium as in paying for an account which posts nudes? If so, then he, in my honest opinion, is a fool. He appears to be more interested in staring at a stranger than actually spending that money on your relationship let alone spending time with you. It's not your fault. In a relationship porn, to me at least, is a major red flag. The fact that he's paying money to get material for minor sexual gratification concerns me significantly. Were you engaging with the Snapchat content as a couple then that would be less concerning but I'm under the impression he uses them and not you. Honestly, it sounds as though he's rather be with his Snapchat account than be with you, and I know that that's an unpleasant sickening thought. But maybe approach him over his use of those accounts, or consider whether he's the one for you in the long term. If you're you're willing to allow him to look at other girls four years into your relationship, what's to say he won't hook up with other girls after you've been together for six to seven years? I'm not saying he will, but it's a risk that is run when you don't solidify your boundaries as a couple. Best thing it to probably talk to him first and work out why he uses them. Does he have an addiction slash dependency or are those girls providing him with something you're not? If something is missing then it's for the two of you to decide whether you can try and incorporate it into your relationship, or if you're better of separating. I'm sorry I can't be of more help but hope this is a little step in the right direction for you. Thumbs up. Jesus, yes this is cheating and your boyfriend sounds like a post to tell you it's your fault. It's nobody's decision but his to cheat. Should I give my dad a taste of his own medicine? My, 15F, dad never puts in an effort for my birthday. He doesn't know how old I am, never buys cards, or even signs them himself, and my last birthday he didn't even tell me happy birthday. It hurts me a lot. And it hurts me more that my mom feels like she has to pick up the slack for him. She buys me really nice heartfelt cards, writes a message in them, and then writes dad feels the same way too. We love you and it irritates the crap out of me. Like, he really couldn't even be bothered to write his own name at the bottom. He has never even signed a card my whole life, and for being an involved dad. We live in the same house and see each other every day, he doesn't do a very good job of being involved. He yells at me a lot and calls me the wrong age, you're 14 years old and can't even do XYZ, and it hurts really bad. Today is his birthday and he gets home at 1. Should I give him the same treatment or play nice? Would ignoring his birthday be an asshole move? My my my, how the turntables turn about is fair play as they say. You're not going to teach someone like that a lesson. But you can learn how to stop giving your best to people who don't deserve it. It probably feels very emotional to just ignore his birthday BC deep down you want a wonderful relationship with your father. But treat him for the person he is, not the one you want. And if that means doing nothing, do nothing. But do it BC that's what's good for you, not him. And if he gets mad, calmly call him a different name as you say you didn't think he cared about birthdays. Sorry. Sorry, I had to add some bad, petty advice BC my heart hurts for what you've gone through. 
I've done it to my husband. Why put in the effort if they don't do the same? My husband used to suck at my birthday until I did that to him. Not even a happy birthday card or cake. I'm sorry skeptical did he just not know it mattered? My boyfriend has done that before. Like he didn't actually recognize the importance of something but after talking and getting things sorted out he felt super bad. Don't do it to give him a taste of his own medicine. Do do it because it will help protect you and your mental health. Set boundaries and don't give more than you feel you want to give. Do it for your benefit smile. Sweetheart, I'm afraid that he won't even notice that you are giving him a bad treatment. Don't bother much. BF, 24M, rarely goes down on me, 20F, he does sometimes, I'd say 1 seventh times he will go down on me for 1 to 2 minutes, on the occasion he does do it, it seems like it's only once he realizes I'm not wet enough to enter yet, we've talked about it more than once, he said he would love to do it and plans to, but he hasn't changed at all so far, I don't bother asking anymore because it makes me feel like he just doesn't enjoy doing it, so I feel guilty and like like crap when I have to ask. I've asked if I taste bad or something, and he denies it which I believe because I have good hygiene and gyne health. My most recent ex went down on me every single time we got jiggy with it, and would always offer to go down on me again after he reached his climax. He would eat me out for up to 30 minutes sometimes, I have a hard time climaxing, and would always express how he enjoyed doing it. I don't miss my ex. But I miss being treated like that in the bedroom. I've been so tempted to tell my BF that that's what I want, but I don't want to seem entitled. I go down on him maybe half dash one third times we have sex. However, regardless of whether or not I do, he still gets to climax. If him climaxing was dependent on me going down on him, I would more than likely want to do it every time. It's frustrating. Anyone relate or have any advice? Tell him what you want and what you like. Communication is key to a relationship. Just tell him hey, I know you like it when I give you head but it would be cool to return the favor. You've got to have a frank and open conversation with him. If things don't get better then it's time to re-evaluate whether it's worth being with someone who doesn't care enough about your sexual pleasure to make the effort to get you off. You shouldn't feel guilty about wanting to have orgasms. Fuck this topic comes up way too many times. If oral sex is so important to you, demand it and if they won't do it, another man will. Oral sex is a deal breaker for me. That's how I come. Sorry to say if he doesn't do it now, he never will. You are not entitled for wanting your sexual needs met. You are not entitled for wanting to orgasm and feel good during sex. You're there too. Sex isn't just about one person feeling good. Sexual incompatibility is a reasonable deal breaker, it is reasonable to have an open and serious conversation about this with him, and if that's something he's not comfortable with or doesn't want, it doesn't make you entitled if you decide to leave. There are plenty of people out there who will meet your needs. He is not. If he is unwilling to, that's on him. I think it's worth talking about why he keeps saying he's going to give you oral but doesn't. If he doesn't like it or if he doesn't feel confident in his skills then he should say so. If you expressed that you want oral and he hasn't done it, it's for a reason. It's up to you to decide whether it's a deal breaker or not. But it's probably going to be really hard to adjust to a relationship without oral after getting it abundantly in the previous relationship.